In this video, I'm going to be showing you Gemini Advance 1.5 Pro with Deep Research. This is on Google's $20 a month tier. Let's just first give it a query. I'm going to say I want to do an analysis of the Mag 7 and their overall representation within the S&P 500. So what's cool with this is the first thing that it will do is after you send in your request is it's going to send you a block to review of its plan. We see here for our analyst plan, what it's going to do is it's going to find the current members of the MAG-7. It's going to find the market capitalization of the MAG-7 companies. From there, it's going to find the total capitalization of the S&P 500. So overall, you can see it has a really thought out plan on what it needs to do. So it's going to research websites from there. It's going to analyze the results. And then finally, it's going to create a report. I'm going to go ahead and click start research here. We see that it's starting the research. Now, what's really impressive with this is sometimes depending on the query that you ask, it might return a dozen results, but in other queries that you might ask, it can go well over a hundred websites that it will go and look for various information. In the research phase, it does seem like it's going and checking and confirming whether the information is actually meeting the criteria of what you're asking for. This is in comparison to that default chat GPT search mode or the perplexity search mode where it will just automatically search something like five, 10, 12, 15 results right off the bat. Whereas this, it seems to actually go through, take its time, look through the different sources and decide whether there is information within all of those sources to meet the criteria. Now, the other theory that I have behind the scenes on what it's doing and why oftentimes it goes through so many sources is to actually try and confirm the information. Because sometimes if you have one, even two, three sources, that in some cases it might not be reliable enough. The one thing that I've noticed with this tool is pretty much every query that I put through, it's generally going to take at least a minute, maybe a few minutes to generate the report. The other thing that I've noticed with this is sometimes that it can run for many minutes. What you can do, and I have tried this, is you can open up just a new browser window and have multiple deep research queries at once. So it's not going to limit you just to one query at a time, which is a nice to have, especially if maybe you're researching a topic that has a number of different angles that you might be looking at, you can run these all in parallel. So that's a nice feature. Now, the other thing with this is it doesn't appear to actually have a rate limit either. A lot of these tools, you will run into rate limits, whether it's ChatGPT, Claude, where it will say, come back at this time to use your Sonnet 3.5 credits or what have you. Here we see that it's in the final steps. It's creating the report for us. Here we see it generated the report for us. Right off the bat, the really cool thing is you can open up the document directly within Google Docs, which is a really nice feature. I think obviously there's a ton of users for things like the Google products, whether it's Google Docs, presentations, or sheets. Just to show you what it looks like within a Google Doc, we have the breakdown within the doc itself. We have all the market capitalizations. We see that the total market capitalization is 17.6 trillion as of December 31st, 2024. And then of the S&P 500, we see that this translates to a substantial 34.6% of the index's total market cap held by these seven companies. You can see the breakdown here. It even went through historically and gave us the numbers all the way back through the years back to 2014 to see how these stocks have been growing and now represent a large portion of the S&P 500. Another really nice thing is it does link all of the sources right below. You can see the annotations in line for all of the things that it referenced. In this case, it generated a six page document for us. You can also see it here and see all the sources in line for where it referenced everything. Now, the other cool thing is you can also export the data to sheets, which is a really nice feature as well, depending on the query, especially if it's financial related or what have you, you can do it just like I did here. But otherwise, that's pretty much it for this video. I just wanted to do a really quick one showing you Gemini Advanced 1.5 Pro with deep research. I encourage you to give it a shot. I was really impressed with this. I've used a ton of these tools, and this is one that does a particularly great job at research itself.